Hey, Tim, uh, this is Steve with uh, Big Sur Digital Marketing. I talked with you yesterday, and uh, this is the information that I wanted to get over to you here. And I will keep this brief because I know you're busy, and uh, you definitely don't want to <laughs> get contacted by any more uh, uh, people trying to push uh, the SEO work on you here. So uh, thanks for watching the video here. I, I hope this helps, but I'm just going to give you a few, uh, few quick tips on uh, what you can do to increase your online presence um, and uh, get get ranked better uh, so you can out, outdo your competition and uh, increase your customer base, increase revenues, all that good stuff. So uh, let's get to it real quick here. Uh, got your website pulled up and uh, it's a pretty basic website, Tim. Obviously, there's not a whole lot of content on here. And the, the first key area is uh, Google loves to see uh, about 1,500 to 2,000 words of written content. Even how your pay, uh, your pictures are saved is important. Uh, they can be saved as a, you know, instead of index, it could be saved as a keyword, your business name or roofing uh, St. Paul or roofing Minneapolis or, you know, uh, any of the hundreds of keywords that, uh, that you could do. So um, first thing I would do is to work on your website page, get some, uh, get some like our services pages, get some back pages, get more content in here, keywords that your customers are using to search for you. And the more of those that you have, the more that Google is going to recognize you, and uh, you're going to get found for uh, people that are searching for you know specific keywords. So that's that's number one. Uh, number two, when I do kind of a basic uh, search like roofing Twin Cities. Uh, I know it looks like you got uh, you know three different locations. Um, if you're in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and Stillwater, I'll go into your phone number. So I don't know if you have, obviously you got addresses, you got some physical locations there, but um, um, we can really set this up for any, uh, any niche city uh, of those three uh, or the surrounding areas there. But when I just do Twin Cities, this is what comes up. And you got your, your Google Map Pack here, which is the top three businesses uh, that are ranked here. And the way you rank up into this area, Tim, is with what's called citations. And citations is basically just an online directory where your business name, address, and phone number appear. And you just register those. And the more of those you have, the more quality ones you have, the higher you move up that ranking. And I pulled up a search that shows how many you have and got you listed right here, uh, 17. Uh, citations, you're in Yelp, Bing, Better Business Bureau, MetQuest, uh, some of the major ones, um, but we can add so many more. There's hundreds and hundreds of, of those out there. It just takes time to get registered on them and, and, and be found for them. But you can see how your top competitor, uh, Twin Cities Roofing, uh, has 46, and they're right at the top here, the number one, and they're also number one uh, on the organic section, which is the next area that I wanted to go over with you here. And the, the way you get ranked in here is is several different things. It's, it's a combination of backlinks, which are being found on other websites that are linking to your website via a blue hyperlink uh, text, which I'm sure you're familiar with, you know, just like this here, and uh, you click on it and it brings you to your website. So the more of those that you're on, uh, it just raises your trustworthiness in Google's eyes and you start moving up the ranks here too. But it's also your keywords, uh, how many you're being found for, uh, reviews, different things that are on there. And I pulled up your statistics here, your online statistics for your business. And your UR rating here is a strength rating with Google. We'd like to see that number be upwards of 80. Uh, and then your DR is your trustworthiness uh, factor with Google. And you're pretty good here. Actually, we like to see this above 30. So uh, that's that's a, a really good number. I've seen them as low as, you know, 4.0 so there uh, that's that's a this is a good ranking here we need to improve over here but you do have a lot of backlinks and again that's that's driving this trustworthiness is uh, uh, the more backlinks you have and I'm very really surprised you actually have a lot of backlinks this is really good um, and you got some good referring domains that are giving you the uh, that uh, trustworthiness but this is this is the the part that we can definitely improve on is your organic keywords. You don't have any on your website that you're being found for, um, which is also driving you no traffic. So you're not getting any organic hits on your website from uh, uh, people searching for 
you know, just typical searches, roofing Twin Cities, roofing Stillwater, roofing uh, St. Paul, uh, whatever, you know, siding, I don't know uh, the different services you get into, um, you know, new roof repair, you know, St. Paul, and those types of things. Um, but that's where we can uh, put that into your into your uh, website and, and get this built out because this is what I, last thing I want to show you is this is the statistics uh, for their online presence for that Twin City roofing. And you can see they got, you know, twice as many uh, backlinks as you, but their their uh, trustworthiness is lower, which is interesting. So they just might have a lot of spammy links that's kind of holding this down, uh, but they have, a, you know, a lot more referring domains. But the keywords that they have, this is, this is uh, really important here. Uh, if you look at what they're ranking for, uh, we don't usually look at the top couple because they're putting in their, you know, business name, but, you know, something Twin Cities roofing, I mean, they're Twin City roofing, so you could, you know, capture some of this, but here's the volume of people that are searching for this key phrase or keyword um, every month. So 350, 350, uh, roofing Twin Cities, 350. Now, the higher this number is, this keyword difficulty, the longer it takes to get ranking in those keywords. Um, but if you go down here, uh, if we're in the single digits, you know, under seven, you can rank really fast. And Twin City Roofing, 350, uh, some of these you might might not be in. But, you know, St. Paul Roofing, Roofing St. Paul, Minnesota, 100, 100, 100. You know, you can go down the line. And if we have Stillwater in there, Minneapolis, um, you know, we can generate a, a lot of volume. And you can see just what they're getting, uh, you know, 30, 26, 19. This is traffic hits per month. You know, they're getting, you know, a few hundred just in this section area uh, here um, per month that are that are clicking on their website. And, you know, typically if, you know, 10 percent of the people that go to the website uh, call to get a quote to get some more information, uh, if you can close, you know, half of those, you can see that there's there's a lot of traffic out there that uh, that we can be directing to to your uh, to your website. So but uh, and you can see again to how many uh you know hits that they're getting i think they were come on pop up here i think they were in the four or five hundred range but uh yeah 562 so um you know that's a that's a lot of business that uh that you could be yeah you could be adding to yours and uh you know i don't know what your your uh uh profit margin is in your your businesses but i'm assuming that with with uh uh roofing it's probably pretty good so even if you can get you know 5 10 20 customers a month uh when you start ranking really high into the first page and into this top 3 um there's a lot of business out there that you could you could definitely be getting so anyway uh this is pretty much all i was uh uh going to put by you here and and give you for information here tim but uh i will definitely not take up any more time uh again my name's steve i'm with uh, ibex digital marketing i really appreciate uh talking to you yesterday and i apologize uh, uh if you're getting uh, bombarded here with uh, seo people here but uh if this is something that you see some interest in um give me a call uh, and i'll follow up too to to see if you have any questions but uh, have a great weekend, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Tim.